Satnam, hello, my name is Zita Harkaran and this video is a continuation of the Jabji series today, the 12th Pori, um, which is a beautiful Pori, I'll go more into it, but uh, at the top I want to mention that this Pori gives you sense of self-impressiveness, sense of self-respect, especially when you are feeling small or insignificant like your presence on earth don't matter, like your words don't matter. Trust what you hear when you listen, even though you won't be able to explain it to anyone. And even if you do talk about it, you'll just regret it afterwards lots of times we hear our intuition we hear our subconscious we hear ourselves and that is the first voice we disregard as like not important because it's coming from the inside of us oh it's always here it's always going to be here this this wise voice is always going to be here why should i listen to it it's just me talking but when you go deeply listen and you start trusting what you hear, you will hear more. You will hear even greater truths. You will realize greater abilities. That is what trust can give you. And Guru Nanak spends three or four poris on this ability of trust. And he keeps repeating this over and over. And if you have ever feel like you cannot trust yourself, these are the pores. Just repeat them and you will see the difference. Because they have the vibration of that feeling he was trying to import on people. It's not about the words. It's not about the meaning. It's about that he composed it in a certain state of consciousness and put in those emotions, in those words and we can repeat them and they will awaken that particular uh, ability within us, which in this case is trust, self-solidarity, self-respect. And so then he says, you know, okay, so you will trust. Some, sometimes it is translated as obey. Um, obey is a very, it almost it comes up with a negative, connotations because of um, there is someone to obey there's someone like it's like this old Bible God telling you to obey you be good children right and um, we don't like this anymore right but obey it means and it's a good word it's uh, but it means yourself yourself right bow your head for once to yourself to your own heart to your own intuition take that rational side that self-importance to the side and bow your head to your heart bow your head to what your soul is telling you and so what ha when you start doing that what starts to happen is that you start to understand more and more things. More because it's like your block was your rational mind and once that block is removed and you are able to trust what you hear from your heart, from your intuition, from your soul, that's when you start hearing, hearing more, right? More will start to come through you. Um, and you will realize things that are just wild to understand and it says you won't be even able to explain it to anyone those who sit together and trust what they hear when they listen are doing the most powerful meditation such is that true spirit within me that it makes me become pure clear and sweet maybe you've noticed maybe you've not but i like explaining things but at some point throughout this process of explaining, I learned that there are just things that are better said with less words or no words at all. And also that just by 
sitting with someone in a healing space, in a meditative state, is way better than trying to explain something to someone. And it's very clear in, in yoga classes um, when I just pull back and I allow everyone to have experience and it's as if spirit descends into the room and everyone is going through their own processes yet we are still together as a group. And this is what Guru Nanak in 12th Pori of Japji talks about that those who sit together and meditate together are doing the most powerful meditation and that is when the magic happens and you know what it doesn't just happen in the yoga class I I practice it anywhere with anyone it's in these quiet moments the silent moments when you are just together with someone that um, the magic happens, when an understanding happens. When you give someone a space to process something and you allow for the spirit to come down. So sometimes we communicate and we go, we argue, right? And or we uh, want to impress someone, our opinions on someone. It's like, this is how you look at this, blah, blah, blah. Because I've seen it and I'm true. That, and I studied it, I'm a scientist, and I'm blah, 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 blah. Um, but that kind of um, approach just raises something within another person, maybe something they want to argue against, or it raises like a block of not listening. And that's why the thoughts, ideas, are not dependent on words. They're not dependent on sentences and structure. It's more, it's more of a feeling that you get. Or understanding, I like the word understanding. So that's why then Guru Nanak says, you know, the best you can do is to sit and trust what you hear, you, you're trusting yourself, right? And trusting that even your presence can speak, that even your body in this particular X, Y, Z space continuum is going to have an effect. When you give people space, they love it. And you can see it a lot in relationships. Um, but it can be like anything, any relationship you might have where there is like a little bit of um, um, like defiance or like there's something that... Oh, oh, oh. When you give people the space and you trust in their goodness, you trust in their higher self, you trust that they will do what, you know, that they will listen to themselves. <sighs> It's like a new world. This is kind of what we need. This is what we need more in the world, right? This trust. Uh, restaurants is a very good example of trust. You go to a restaurant, they feed you, and they trust that you are not going to leave without paying. And this is a very old, old custom that was around for thousands of years, and maybe even more. Because it's a form of hospitality, right? You give someone something and you trust that they will give it back to you. Sometimes you don't even like show them the check, they have to ask for it. Um, because you don't want to insult someone, right? Because it is insulting. This is a very beautiful customs that we have that probably is slowly dying out. Um, and there are, there are other, uh, millions of other ones, but I'm also going to say an example of when we subvert this and everything becomes like, uh, 
well, I don't trust you. You have to give me money now because I don't trust you. And later on, I'll give you the service. And this is what like the capitalist system is teaching us. It's the lack of trust. Everything is for something. Everything has a price. But um, maybe the greatest price is to give someone your trust. Is to show that you trust them. And even if they disappoint you, you still trust them. If you trust what you hear when you listen, that knowing becomes the psyche through which you reflect, understand, and act. That if you trust what you hear when you listen, it becomes you. That knowing becomes your psyche. Your psyche won't be lost. It will always trust itself. And it will become like new you. New self-secured you that knows that it's always working with something greater that it's always supported by something greater and that will penetrate every aspect of your life and it will be easy to live there won't be struggle even if you come across struggle then you can again remember that feeling of like you know I'm gonna give you space to and I will trust and especially, especially, especially if you are in relationships and you give someone a trust, even though they don't deserve it, even though they made mistakes, it's one of the most beautiful things you can give them. But first you have to trust yourself, right? First you have to know this feeling within you. That is all. That is my little intro on uh, 12 Pori of Jabji. Beautiful, beautiful wisdom hidden there. Satnam. Mane ki gar ke na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen har, mane ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man ko. Manne ki gar ke na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen har, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man ko. Manne ki gar kehe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haad, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man ko. Manne ki gar kehe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haar, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man koi. Manne ki gar kahe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haar, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man koi. Manne ki gar kehe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haar, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man koi. Manne ki gar kehe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haar, manne ka be karn vichar. Esa nam nirinjan hoi, jeko man jane man koi. Manne ki gar kehe na jai, jeko kahe pishe pashtai. Kaga kalam na likhen haar, manne ka be karn vichar. 
Ko 